you should already know this, but all of this just goes hand in hand. You should be taking more precautions now than ever because you don't know. And it seems like, I was just talking about this today, people are getting sick in the main places that we need the people. So, um, I don't do the first, um, I don't want to give you my next, um, I don't want to get you no next, I, 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 I don't want no struggle. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Chit Chat with Bripper. I am Bripper, and of course, you want to chat. If you're new to my channel, just want to say hey. You could have clicked anywhere else, but you decided to click here. And for that, I love you. If you're returning, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of all the tips and everything you can do to stay safe and just to stay clean. But of course, you can never be too sure and so i'm gonna let you guys know a few little tips and tricks that i use of my own some things of course we should have already known growing up our parents should have told us this but i know that some parents were just a little too busy because they didn't tell you the things you should already know okay all right first things first let's get into my church look this makes me wanna let the church say yes all right, well, I was on that way today, and so, therefore, this is where you get to stay. Um, you can call me uh, Sister Jackson, since they call me that anyway, which is true. They did call me Sister Jackson. My last name's Jackson. Long story with that. That ain't important. As we know, with all the things that's going on today with the coronavirus and everything like that, I mean, I thought it was just a thing that you already were supposed to be doing, washing your hands keeping your hands out of your face. Somebody should have told you if they didn't already, but it's okay because Sister Jackson is here, so I got you. The coronavirus. We already know. Keep your hands out of your face. Keep your hands out of your face. Keep your hands clean. Hand sanitizer does not clean your hands as much as soap and water does. So I don't care how many times they tell you hand sanitizer, keep it in your backpack. You put it on your hands, you're moving them around. All the germs are still moving around your hands. No, it may kill some and some of it, it's still there. Wash your hands, soap and water. Don't, not the little cute soaps, the real soap and water. Wash it, spell your name out, get the front, the back. When I was younger, my dad used to be like, get under them nails, clean them nails, or whatever case. Now, now, I've been on this nail brick. I haven't got my nails done in a while, um, just because, no story, it's not important. But, ladies, if you're getting your nails done, you know, it's kind of hard to get under there. They carry germs. Um, that's, I really was like a stickler on every two weeks I was getting my nails done. But at the same time, when you wash your hands, get up under there. Like, I'm a real, first of all, I'm a germaphobe already. So, I just was extra with mine, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to tell you what I used to do, but that's just the way. Make sure, ladies, you're keeping your nails clean because you're touching this, you're touching that. Then you're eating, you're licking. There's a lot going on there, so just make sure. We already know this, but clearly it's a thing where, like, everybody's saying, wash your hands, wash your hands. That should have already been a thing, I hope. But if it wasn't, Sister Jackson got you, okay? Allergy season is coming up. And I'm just tell you, I have really bad allergies, so I'm automatically gonna be sneezing. I may have little respiratory stuff. I, I get a whole bunch of stuff. My asthma comes into effect times a thousand during allergy season. So it's gonna be a lot that I'm not sick. I don't have no cold, this is allergies. So I already peep that I'm gonna have to be going over people because I don't want anybody thinking like, oh, she got the cuties, ah, 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 whatever. Um, allergy season is coming, which means we should already be in effect with the allergy medicine. If you haven't watched my allergy, um, tips and tricks on allergy season or what you can do to make sure that you're good. It's March now. We should already be taking our medicine because we need to have our bodies used to it so that when allergy season comes, we're already flowing and we're already doing good and we're not, it's, it's not taking a while for it to already be in effect. So if you have really bad allergies or allergies at all or anything where it's concerning to have to do with allergies because of the season, you should already be taking your medicine, already getting that so your body's getting used to it. I'm just saying March 1st is the time to start it. Check out my videos, it's gonna be in the um, description box. I really, really want y'all to check that out just because. And comment down below if I should put some new ones up. Cause listen, I'm always trying to figure out what I could do because my allergies are really, really bad, guys. Okay, keep napkins handy in your pocket and in your bag. So you always have extra napkins. I'm just saying, just you just never know um, if you have to grab onto something on the train, if you have to, um, you know, because I've, I've tried the whole standing on the train and like not trying to fall and it, this doesn't work. So you might have to just hold on, but at least you have something to do that. Um, I work on Wall Street, which means I have to take the trains. No, I'm just gonna drive to work. You'll be in traffic all damn day. So if you're in my situation, get it together. What else, what else, what else, what else? If you're gonna buy alcohol, 
Make sure you are buying the 90% proof alcohol, not the 70%, the cheap version. Even if it's going to be the generic, the fake version, make sure it's at least the 90%. Um, definitely keep some at home and definitely keep some at work. I know at work, they're supposed to already supply those things, but you, it's never bad to just have your own set of stuff. Just saying because a lot of things can happen and I'm just trying to prevent that. So I'm telling you, keep your own set of your own cleaning stuff, your own alcohol. I'm extra, so... Yeah, <laughs> I don't even play with that. Um, coronavirus. You should not even be eating in public. You should not be eating in public, and you should not be eating, like, just on the train. You shouldn't be eating where there's a bunch of people. First of all, like, okay, if you're going out to eat, okay. But even that, I'm trying to slow down. Just because, it's, like, anywhere, like, parties where there's, like, a bunch of people, I don't like I'm scared I don't want to take any chances if this like gonna be like a small gathering or whatever the case even if I know the people like I'm not even trying to be funny we just gotta like a lot of that stuff just has to just just until we get a little wraps on this get a little hold on what's going on because right now we don't even know what's going on I do know that they're making it way bigger than what it really is even though it, it was it's probably bigger than it seems be considerate of others, you know what I'm saying? Like, yawning out loud, not covering your mouth, that's not okay. It takes two seconds to transfer germs and to be sick. So be considerate of others, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yawning, coughing, you know what I'm saying? Looking away and coughing, that's not the same thing as covering your cough. When I was younger, and you coughed or you sneezed and you didn't cover your mouth, I'm sorry, but that you got to slap for that. Like, especially if your parent told you over and over and over and over to do it. That's just like a thing. I don't understand how that's not a thing, but it needs to be a thing. Cover your cough, and it shouldn't have to take coronavirus for that even to be a conversation. Come on, um, bleach already should be kept in the house just because is bleach and if you're not cleaning with it I don't know what you're doing but you know what I'm saying if you have small children you should be bleaching down their toys once a week if not now definitely more than that like bleaching on their toys you know what I'm saying just to clean and make sure everything is okay let me tell you something kids in school are nasty they are dirty and it's not bad I know they say um a certain age and high I think 50 plus um, it's more likely to be infected or whatever case may be but it really just takes two seconds of any kind of germ any type of virus um, all that I love all my people and I'm always with hugs and kisses and stuff like that but guess what if I love you I'm gonna give you the elbow hey or if I don't really know you like that just give it a fist pump just all out of respect we all gotta be safe and I'm not gonna lie recently I think this happened to me like twice. So like, you know, when you see somebody and you know them, hi, boo, Mwah, give them a kiss, whatever kiss. And then like we did it and then after we thought about it and we all just started laughing because we're like, we're not supposed to do that no more. Like, I forgot, I forgot. We trying to get in the habit of that. Yeah, so easy on the hugs, easy on, I know love is love. You know what I'm saying? I love you, I respect you, all that. Give me some room, no disrespect. Now, if you find yourself getting a little tingle in the throat, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't really know what's going on. And you feel, as soon as you feel like something could be coming up, automatically get some ginger from the supermarket, the real ginger. Get the ginger, chop it up. I, you know people boil it? I don't just boil it like that. I chop it up because I need to get all the juices from inside of there. Chop it up, put it in your tea, drink it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Kill it while it's in the beginning. Even if it's not corona, of course. But, I mean, if it's corona, I don't know what to do. I mean, really go get some real help. But I'm just saying, like, common cold, get the ginger from the store, chop it up, boil it out. Like, I mean, really boil it out. Like, all the juices come out. Suck on it if you have to. Just saying. Put some lemon in there. I prefer lemon instead of lemon juice. But if you don't have, lemon juice will work just fine. And get some rum. And drink it. Drink that bad boy. Act like you about to try to go get lit before you go into the club. Drink it. Theraflu is good. Get the nighttime Theraflu. Drink it real good before you go to sleep. But don't get hooked on it because my best friend be like, if you drink it so much, your body not going to know. It's going to think it's regular, whatever. That's not going to really attack when you're really sick. What you choose to so don't get heavy on it. But I'm talking about if you feel in your little throat like, oh, shoot. Something could be going on. Get your ginger, get your Theraflu, the nighttime Theraflu, sleep on it, because it works best when you get, and you'll get the generic one, because I've tried the generic one when I was sick, and it still worked, but get the real one, and, and you take the Theraflu, the nighttime PM, take it, go to sleep on it, wake up, you're going to feel refreshed. When you leave out the bathroom, do not touch the door handle. It will be no point of you washing your hands to then touch the door handle, and then leave and go back to work. Wash your hands, use a paper towel to dry your hands, and then use that same paper towel to open the door, and then go about your business but do not wash your hands dry your hands and touch the doorknob and then do it again touch your face and now you sick boom still got the corona i'm just saying also just because the what 
Okay, I'm gonna put my book down. Stop fiending. Stop fiending to get cute and be naked just because we got a little bit of nice weather. It is not summertime. This is how you get sick. Forget the corona. If that never came, this is how you get sick. We get one day of some nice weather. Next thing you know, boom, you out here in booty shorts wondering why you got a cold in your butt. And that is true. You could really get a cold in your butt. Sister Jackson said it. Google it. But if you can, try to sleep with socks on your feet because when you wake up in the middle of the night, you should already be wearing slippers. You have to make sure you have something on your feet. When I was younger, right, my mom used to be like, put something on your feet. I'm not going to no damn hospital because you want me to walk around something going on your foot. Put something on your feet. It's funny now, but it's the truth. Anything can happen. This don't have nothing about being sick. I know this defeats the point of video. But make sure you're wearing something on your feet just because when it's cold, you get sick just like that. It really takes two seconds to get sick. Um, I heard something about the chopping up the onions and putting them in your socks if you're sick so you can sweat out all the toxins and stuff like that so you might get better. I don't know if it works, but comment down below if you've tried that um, just because. I want to know if it works and I never tried it, but I've always heard it. So let me know. As we come to a closing of this video, let me see. We already know cover your mouth when you cough, cover your mouth when you sneeze, cover your mouth when you yawn. Anything that has to do with you opening your mouth, cover it, okay? All sexual activity, I don't know, it might be on pause right now. I just can't take no chances. <laughs> yeah. At any point in time, you should be doing this at least once a day. Try to have your windows open. Let all the toxins that were stuck in the house from it being closed because it is winter time. So, I mean, you may have a window open for a little bit here and there. But try to open up a window or two just to let everything fly out, whatever. Especially if you've been sick before or was previously sick. You already know change your sheets, all of that stuff, all of that stuff. But try to open up the window. Get some air blowing and breezing. Get all the old air. Replace it with some new air. It may not do anything, but I think it does stuff. I don't know. It, to me, in my head, it makes sense. I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below if that works i'm not sure but i'm just saying what's about it um definitely don't keep old tissues around you because you can get sick keep the scarf on your neck if, if, if it's still kind of chilly outside you want to get cute you can wear a light little jacket with your scarf on your neck which i didn't do that today but i definitely should because you know i look cute today so i just have my little cute little jacket on okay that was too much sorry no eating in public. I hope I said that. Don't eat in public. That's just disgusting. People are walking past coughing, sneezing, and duh, duh. Throw your toothbrushes out. After a certain, you should already know this, but all of this just goes hand in hand. You should be taking more precautions now than ever because you don't know. And it seems like, I was just talking about this today, people are getting sick in the main places that we need the people. I mean, everybody who's getting sick is important, yes. But Port Authority, man. We need, like, what? There's thousands of people to walk past there who go home to their family, kiss their babies. <sighs> I'm just super paranoid. Um... I don't know, but the whole drinking the bleach and all of that, that's not gonna work. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you that. If you tried it, it's not gonna work. You're gonna die. Baby, if we're gonna stay fresh and we're gonna stay clean, we need to stay clean the right way, okay? Definitely, definitely make sure you like, comment, or subscribe at any point in this video that you did. Uh, can understand, relate, or whatever. Comment down below the tips that you use, because I'm sure that somebody can use it, and I'm sure that somebody doesn't know. That's about it. Bye, guys.